Welcome hunters to the hunt! Today we shall be hunting perhaps my favorite subspecies in the entire game, the coal Puke Puke. God, that's still such a fun name to say either wise. The reason why I'm super excited is because I love coal Puke Puke. I genuinely think coal Puke Puke is amongst my top fights in all of Monster Hunter World, including both the base game and Iceborne. It's such a fun fight. It's not an especially hard fight, but I think it's done super, super well. There are a lot of elements here that I want to talk about, and uh, depending on whether we have time or not, it's a completely different issue, but let's just go through them one by one. First of all, I think it's the one subspecies that has the most amount of character amongst every other monster. So we, we could include variant, we could include uh, really just subspecies, uh, deviants, it, it doesn't matter. Anything that is outside of the base monster, I think Whole Puke Puke does it the best. And it's because it has so much personality, it uses its second appendages to amplify the fighting mechanics, as in, if you fight, if you fight the normal Puke Puke, really the only thing that it does uh, that is personalized to its own moveset, right, that, that's personalized for that monster is the fact that it can spew out poison like if it's pretty much like a, a gooey substance, which is pretty cool, but the cool Puki Puki basically gets rid of the poison for a much more interesting element, which is the water blight, which not a whole lot of monsters do that in world in general, which is why I think water blight is, although it is kind of an annoying element, especially if you're a stamina user, um, it makes you so much more Especially if you're a light weapon user, so, you know, your dual blades, your long sword, your sword and shield, uh, your bow especially. It makes you so much more aware as to how you need to move towards the pattern in order to make sure your stamina consumption can be dealt sustainably. And you have both skills to ne uh, neglect that in the stamina surge, and also skills to perhaps neglect some of the some of the cons of Water Blight with like constitution and dash use, which is why I love it, which is why I love Water Blight so much more than something like Poison, for instance. But, uh, also I think Coral Puke Puke has a very neat thing, as it, it kind of throws off the regular balance of a normal fight. At least for when it comes to early monsters. With early game monsters like this, whether it's Master Rank, whether it's High Rank, Low Rank, no matter what, uh, the you, we, you will always stick in the behind of the monster. Specifically, usually, it's it's hind legs. So, you'll deal less damage, but you're in a much safer location where you can deal uh, sustained damage. And that can last for a while, which is why you'll see a lot of un, uh, unfamiliar... Uh, people are unfamiliar with some of the game mechanic to constantly stand hind legs and having hunts last 20 30 minutes which is an absurd time for a veteran hunter like me even someone like me who has no offensive skills right now can still finish this fight in seven to eight minutes uh, tops maybe but you will stick on his hind legs if you're not used to it and the cold puke puke punishes this with its very, very personalized moveset. It's, it, like I said, it completely reinvents the fight of the Puke Puke to be something completely different with a completely different element, and it essentially punishes the biggest fault for new players, which is sticking by the hind legs and moving you to a situation where you need to be much more aware of the moveset the monster is using and being much more reactive. So staying by the sides and somewhere close to the four legs, which is a much more efficient tactics for it, almost any weapon outside of, you know, the front facing one like hammer and uh, hunting horn, which are blunt weapons. Which is why I think it's so... I, it's why I think Coral Puke Puke is so interesting and a, an extremely fun fight. If you get careless behind its hind leg, it will punish you with either a sweep, a swipe, or even shooting water out of its tail, which is such a creative implementation of the original design with the Puke Puke. And there's so many things to celebrate about this monster and how it was constructed from the base one and basically enhanced in every way possible. And I wish to God that's how every, how every variant or subspecies would be endal in this game. Even rare species to a factor, but uh, that can be a different discussion for another time. Uh, so, again... I genuinely think Cold Puke Puke is an extremely fun fight, and if you haven't fought him in a while, I heavily recommend you do so, because you will not regret it. It is such a blast to fight. 
genuinely, you will have an amazing time. You will not regret it 100%. God damn, this was even super fun to comment it, and I hope to God you did too. L little kabuki dance for craps and giggles. The ritual of the hunter. <laughs> all right, everybody. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you all in the next hunt.